we've all been involved in in title races um haven't we what how would you describe that feeling to to supporters and uh, because i mean they live it as fans it's slightly different as a player. second four times but what were the points how close was it were we talking i think we were six points clear with about 12 games to go but they won every single one of 11 yeah. games and then the last game they had to win at chelsea mm-hmm. and we were playing at goodison against southampton we battered southampton and there was a roar around goodison park with about I think Philbert just roared actually in the, in the background. You may have heard him. Maybe he's feeling my angst here. Yeah. There was one of those things where there was a, a, a cheer in the ground and it started going reverberating all around Goodison Park. All the fans were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought Chelsea have scored. Chelsea have scored. And then we get in at half time and they hadn't. <laughs> and they actually, you know, and then Kenny Dalglish scored the only goal in the game um, and, and, and they pipped us and then we lost in the. Fucking cup final the week after, and it's the worst week ever. Without being disrespectful, was it teletext back then? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 we didn't have teletext on the pitch, but but to be honest, yeah, I radio or for people, right? There would have had radio. I mean, radios have been around a long time, Mike. I'm not that fucking old, okay? Mike, it was fucking Morse code, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Morse code. Yeah. Uh, how many dots is it for, you know, <laughs> but yeah, Chelsea without, let As soon down. as you said, without being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Which means I'm about to be disrespectful. Disrespectful. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. I mean, I mean, I mean, yours was tense, Alan, wasn't it? And for Christ, Mike, you had the tensest one ever. Do you know, you actually, you said, what's it like? I mean, it's far easier at that end yeah. of the table than it is at the other end of the table. But, um... You try to keep it the big end afterwards, didn't you? When the, the reporters are maybe asking you, saying, "Are you watching any of the games?" You said, "No, nah, we're not. We're just concentrating on our concentrating on our own game." What a load of bullshit it is, isn't it? <laughs> You're watching every single game what? and hoping that they slip up. <laughs> what about that 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 quote that we always say? We take uh, one game at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest load of load bullshit. Of <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at absolutely everything. It's right. true. We're planning so who's going to be playing when and what fixtures we could possibly get points from. We'll take a draw there. <laughs> who's going to be fit there? The fitness, everything is to the to the T. Is detailed, honestly. Yeah, of course, of course it is. But what they're going to say? Exactly. It, because the thing is, when they say, you know, you know. How do you think you'll go from, oh, we'll just take one game at a time? <laughs> well, which is kind of true because you've actually got no alternative because you can't play two games at once. But um, but it, it, it's funny though, when you're playing, it's not as nerve wracking as when you when it's your team when you're watching, I don't think. Because actually when you're playing, you can do something about it yourself. Do you think? Absolutely, yeah. I do. I think that. I, d- I don't know. I, I think it's different. Well, you were on the bench, Michael. That's, you, that's, that's, like, a, that's like a double whammy. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's e- not easier because the strikers, I think, they've got the hardest job on the field in terms of putting a ball in the back of there. I'll give you that. But imagine being a defender and the night before the game, whether it's Champions League file, you're playing for the league, FA Cup, and all you're thinking to yourself is, don't give a penalty away, you know, uh, don't um, make a mistake, don't get a red card, all these things. And like, no disrespect. Micah, you- Micah, I honestly think I could have improved your career with a little bit of therapy. Could you? Well, you seem to be a little bit concentrating on the negative. I, do, I, do, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know yeah. why that is. Um but I just feel with a striker, you could have a terrible 89 minutes. But if you keep cool in the moment, one chance, you know, a one goal it could take. And you're the hero, aren't you? That happened many a time. <laughs> um, but you can also, you know, end up being the villain. I think strikers and goalkeepers are generally the ones that are under the most pressure in either to deliver or not to fuck up in some way or shape or form. That's why the big books get paid for the strikers, isn't it? The, the Aguero moment though, Mike. Oh. To live that, that must have been, as a player, I know you weren't on the pitch at the time. Yeah, I've done the emotions, haven't I? I do the emotions because I know I'm very self-deprecating, but that season, 
I was outstanding. I was. I know, I got, hang on, hang on a minute. I know I'm very self-deprecating, but that season I was outstanding. That is a beautiful line. I love I just, that. I just said it. I just said it. <laughs> and I was outstanding. I got nominated for Player of the Year. I got. I got. Uh, Which injured. Player of the Year in the, in, in, in the, for all the league? Or no, fans? no. For um, I got robbed. By the way, Kyle Walker. <laughs> What? So you're just talking for, about for, just Manchester well, City yeah, player, for, for yeah. player of the year that season, 2011-12, I got yeah. robbed. Kyle Walker got it. That year, I was unbelievable. But obviously, <laughs> me and Zabaleta was rotating, so there's about five games to go. And you've probably heard the, the story before, but uh, so I'll shorten it. But I did my hamstring then, Mancini. Once he had a win, it, it was a, a little bit superstitious. Didn't want to the, the change the team and all that sort of stuff. So... I remember like the day before, he kept asking me, how am I? How's my hamstring? And I said, I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. So in my head, I think I'm going to be playing the last game of the season. I want all the glory. You know, you know me. I love the limelight. It's all about big meeks, isn't it? And I think I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make an impact. We're against QPR at home. I'm thinking I'm going to get an assist. I'm going to be dribbling past people. I'm going to be putting a show on. And then he's doing the team, the, the team talk before. And, I remember doing it on one of the, we did it on a top 10, I think. Yeah, yeah. But like, you're watching, so like the whiteboard, and he did it with like a, a felt tip, and you're watching to what he's going to write, because you start with a keeper, then you start with a right back <laughs> first and go across. And he went, he went sort of that way first, though. So if you're looking at me to the right, and did a Z, and it was Zabaleta. <laughs> so my, so my emotion throughout the game, I'm thinking, Fuck this. All that I've given this club, I've come through the academy. I'm absolutely like, I'm one of the homegrowns. I've given everything for the season. The most important game of our history. I'm not starting. And I was sulking like a little bit of a baby. And then what goes and happens? Sabaletta scores. Sabaletta scores. Honestly, I'm... you sat there like pretending to be really happy and clapping. <laughs> you? No, honestly, get the camera on me. I'm absolutely fuming. There was no, there was, there was no pretending with me. I'm fuming. It was Paddy Kenny, I think, was in net or someone like that. He, he threw one in, and then they scored, and they scored again, and then the emotions just—it's not about yourself. It becomes about the team, and then that moment where the ball because. Balotelli was on the side, we was warming up together, he said, and I was down because I was feeling sorry for myself. I said, because Balotelli, Aguero, Silva, they, Yaya Torre, they're always going to win a Premier League. It might be my only chance, you know, Zabaleta's coming into the team. He said, don't worry, I'm going to change the game. Balotelli gets the assist for Aguero and the emotion on that day, it was, it was just like all your emotions coming out at once. You didn't know it to like, to laugh, to cry, to celebrate, to to drink, to, who to ring. The, then you're thinking about your bonuses. You're thinking about new co All the emotions goes through. At one time, it was just an amazing <laughs> moment. Brilliant. You're thinking of the bonuses. The bo you can't <laughs> I'm thinking of the bonuses. I'm thinking about Vegas Strip. Where are we going? LA, Vegas, Miami. The bonuses. Your story was brilliant. pretty extraordinary, though, wasn't it? Because you actually... You know, everything was at stake on the last day. And you won the title, even though you lost. It was Anfield, wasn't it? Yeah, Anfield. We, uh, I mean, we were really nervous because uh, Fergie and Man United were putting huge pressure on us. So we had to go. <laughs> it's not like it. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to go to Anfield and we go 1-0 up our score. And then uh, two goals, Liverpool scored. And it was really weird because I thought, just for about 10 seconds, we've blown it. We've done it. We, we've we've gone all this way and it's gone to the last game of the season, the last five minutes, and we've lost the title. And then within 30 seconds, uh, we heard all the crowd going wild, even Anfield, because obviously they wanted their team to win. But because Kenny was our manager and they love Kenny, and rightly and so. And he was Man United. And Man United were at West Ham. <laughs> um Man United didn't uh, didn't beat West Ham, um, and it just it was from going two one down, and thirty seconds later we'd we'd won the title because they they hadn't won it uh, at Upton Park, and it was crazy. Yeah, 